So, uh, I know all of you are eagerly awaiting more news about Ferraldi Umbra. And that is exactly what we're going to talk about. Uh, so, um, one of the, the aspects of Ferraldi Online Experience that kind of developed on its own once we started trying a few things is this idea that the attendees of the convention dress up for the theme. It's something that we get to do here in VR chat that is so much more accessible than, than in the physical world. Um, and it just helps make the convention experience that much better. So, uh, we are going to share the Ferraldi Umbra avatar style guide. And um, so b before we get into it, uh, I just want to talk about what is the style guide. So the style guide is a, um, a source of inspiration for all of you out there who wish to dress up your avatar for the convention, for uh, anyone who is making assets themed to Ferraldi Umbra for whether you're giving them away or, or selling them, um, the, the style guide is there to help give you an idea of what fits the look of Ferraldi Umbra. So let's get into it. Um, we have a two page, uh, style guide this time. And, uh, this is an awesome, uh, <laughs> Awesomely put together. Big shout out and thank you to Vert uh, on our, our graphic design team within the creative department for um, not only uh, putting together the, the style guide, but these wonderful illustrations on here as well. So uh, this one here with the horse, we'll, we'll start with that. And uh, this is... Um, this is a reference for the materials that uh, we will be um, distributing, uh, but, but just kind of giving an idea, a little bit of lore behind why the Umbrans wear what they do. Uh, so if you were uh, someone who followed our style guide for Fraudi Silva, we did a similar thing where we explained why, why do they dress this way to help give you an idea as inspiration for your own outfit for your avatar. Um, so, uh, the, um, what we have, uh, on the, the sides here talking about the, the different materials, um, is a bit of lore and a bit of how to use it. So be sure to look closely at the outfits that are shown as examples, as well as, uh, just a little bit about them. So if you have something that you already have on your avatar, maybe you have a canon outfit to your character and uh, you want to retexture it, um, change the materials to fit the look of Ferrati Umbra, this will let you know how to do that. Um, uh, a few of the, the key materials on here I'll call out. We have the um, Duo Star Surplus material, which is used in the, it's like a, a repurposed spacesuit material um, that's used in the, the more durable items, maybe things that you would wear around your shoulders or on, on the top part of an avatar's body. Uh, we have the mushroom leather, which is uh, used just like a, an animal leather that um, uh, you might find on a belt or pouch or something like that. Our really cool uh, textiles with these uh, neat patterns on them with the piping patterns. Um, so for pants and, and anything that would be a free flowing, breathable fabric. Um, and then the Umbrans uh, specifically wear for their base layer, um, a material we, we call Syntex. Um, and uh, this is uh, something the, the Umbrans do because they um, experience both the sand and heat of the desert, as well as inside of the crevice, there's, uh, you know, moisture and mud and things where uh, um, you'd want to be able to, to wipe something off of, of a material really easily. Um, so 
that's that's the uh, the materials there. And then on the other page, um, we have uh, a uh, a set of uh, characters. Um, just just to give an example of uh, how you could utilize um, some of these materials and design conventions for your own outfit. Um, so at the top here, we have some descriptions about what each, uh, each of these characters on the page, why they're wearing what they're wearing. Um, and then down below here, uh, we have a few different examples with uh, a diversity of, of cast here to, to help give inspiration. It's one of the questions we get a lot is, my avatar doesn't fit you know, a, a standard humanoid shape. How, how can I dress it up? Um, so the, uh, the, the bird here on the left, the kakapo, um, is, is wearing a, a, an outfit for, for something that may be a, a different body shape um, than some of the rest. Uh, we have more feminine styling, um, a, as well as a kind of more intricate uh, outfit giving uh, vibes of almost like a, a motorcycle um, outfit, maybe for some of those those uh, cycles that you'd ride through the desert. Um, so these, uh, so this style guide is is just an illustrative example of what uh, you can do with your avatar for Froudy Umbra. Just trying to give ideas. It serves as inspiration, not um, you know, it's it's not meant to to restrict anyone's creativity. But we find that it's really helpful to attendees that they have somewhere to start, um, something to to give them an idea of what fits within the theme, what what are the important elements that they need to incorporate into their outfit, and um, uh, just uh, uh, give them a starting place of where to go. Um, so uh, the uh, uh, avatar assets pack. So for our first class and sponsor tier attendees, um, we have, uh, for uh, since Friday 2000, distributed an avatar assets pack uh, as a um, thank you to um, those uh, attendees who are opting for um, one of those tiers. And uh, similar to Friday Silva, we will be giving some uh, avatar accessories that help you get the look of Friday Umbra on your avatar. Um, in, an, in an easy way. Uh, so while it's not made of clothing or, or other, um, you know, body fitting uh, type pieces, similar to Froudy Silva, you'll be able to get something that looks distinctly Umbran uh, with those avatar assets. So I'm very excited. I've seen a lot of cool stuff in the works. Um, we'll, uh, we'll be uh, getting those out as soon as possible. I know that's a, a big request to have those out as soon as we can. Believe me, we're working on it. So uh, that is the avatar style guide for Feraldi Umbra. And we're gonna, uh, I just wanna cover what, what it is we're distributing here in the near future. Um, so we have a collection of substance painter materials that um, we had this for Ferrati Silva. Uh, we saw people use this in really cool ways to to make use of perhaps a, a piece of clothing that they already have, or um, for those that want to model their their own uh, outfits and and pieces of clothing. These will come in really handy to get a look that that fits in with our own um, avatar accessories that we are distributing. Uh, so we have the the mushroom leather, the syntax. Uh, the textiles, um, as well as uh, a few different options for the Duo Star surplus <clears throat> material. Uh, these work best with the Feraldi Umbra shader, which we will be also releasing soon. Um, both of these are going to first be shared with our Feraldi supporters to help us test them out, as well as our, our team. And then once we're confident that they're ready to go, we will uh, release these to all attendees to use. So that is the uh, our update on uh, 
our avatar style for Fra the Umbra. I am so excited to see what all of you come up with in the community. I think this is a great opportunity for our community to um, you know, kickstart some uh, new accessories that people can give or sell. Um, we we want to see what you guys make. So um, please, please, please uh, the post in, in our Discord and the applicable channel if you um, you want to share what you've done for your Umbra outfit. Uh, or um, if you post something uh, for, for distribution, um, make sure to let us know. Tag us on Twitter or something like that.